What is going on everyone? My name is Ovi and welcome to the FC24 defending tutorial. Almost everyone is having problems at defending in the new game and I am here to help you. Just like that, Ovi puts it in. One, two, three, he makes it quick and easy. Fantastic goal, really it was. Man, it's a slide throw, oh he's got a man for all goal here. It's a stunning goal from Ovi. If you want to get cheap and reliable coins, Go check the best place on the market, fifacoin.com, with super fast delivery time and make sure to use the code OVI for extra discount. Link is in the description. First of all, let's get something uh, uh, straight and clarified. We've got two options at defending in this season. You got the tactical defending and the advanced uh, defending. The difference between tactical and advanced is that at tactical defending, when you press the tackle, the AI will take the decision if it is a tackle or if your player will be pushing the opponent. Advanced defending, you've got different controls for uh, pushing the the opponent or for the tackle against the opponent. That is the difference. At this moment, I'm not using advanced defending. I am using tactical defending. Also, for the basic defending controls, check the playlist in the description because in this particular tutorial, we're not going to go through those. Uh, we're going to go through the exact... We're going to go through the particularities from FC 24. Game is similar in terms of controls from previous season, but scenarios are a bit different this season. And that's exactly what we're going to focus on, on the particular scenarios, because that's the best way from you for you to learn. Another important thing I always recommend at the beginning of the game, formations with two CMs, two CDMs. They help a lot until you get used to the vibe of the game. To the flow of the game so 442 422 4231 in my opinion are the best to use in the first month of fifa oh of fc biggest change this season in terms of defending if you overcommit with your center back you are done as you've seen here i've overcommitted i'm done i cannot catch the striker he will go through it is and he will score so be careful try not to overcommit and the trick this season is patience in defense, patient defending. We're just going to wait out and see what the opponent is doing. We are not going to over commit. That is the secret at the beginning of the game with FC24 um, gameplay being a bit slower, more possession style. Do not over commit. Just be patient. One move that I still use from FIFA 23 in FC 24 is the jockey running. Running jockey in FC 24 is still a good option. You can do that by pressing R2 and L2 in the same time. Your player would do a jockey move, but he will move a bit faster than the normal jockey. That will offer you the opportunity to cover more ground and still have a stance of your player that will offer you the opportunity to not be fooled with ease by the opponent. Next, we've got the normal jockey movement combined with a tackle. Why is jockey so important? Well, your player will be moving much better on the pitch, getting closer to the, uh, to the opponent and being more aggressive. As you are seeing in this example right here, I am waiting for the right moment. I'm not necessarily over committing and I'm just using here the jockey movement together with the tackle button in order to do a super accurate uh, tackle and get the ball from the opponent. The next two examples are focused on being patient in defense. And one very important thing, at this moment, in my opinion, the best way to defend against the positional attack of the opponent is, of course, by being patient and using the CMs. You don't want to use the center back unless it is absolutely mandatory. Otherwise, try and cover the gap in your defense by using the, uh, the CMs. Wait for him to do a mistake. Try to do an interception with the CM, but not again, at the, like I've said at the beginning of the video, do not overcommit. If you just keep it cool, be patient in defense, use the CMs, not abuse the do not abuse the fullback or the or the center backs in terms of uh, uh, defending eventually you will get the ball back another example here is the moment when 
my team is automatically doing a bit of a pressure game in attack and trust me i do not have press after possession loss in this uh, uh, example right here it is just how things work in attack at this moment uh, once you lose the ball your striker strikers your forward players for i don't know two three seconds they will be a bit more aggressive and go forward uh, up the pitch what i actually wish uh, to show you here is the way that I am blocking on the wing. I don't have the paciest player on Bisaka, 80 pace here on the right. I just run besides the winger and I wait for the perfect moment. I wait for the perfect moment and this exactly right here is when I do the tackle and the AI will do just a push over the, of the winger, double tackle and then we get the ball back here, very important. Uh, just screenshot that and see when I do the tackle. That's the moment when you need to do it on the wing. The second man press is again something that uh, I am using a lot uh, in defending at this moment. And even though I told you do not use the center back uh, to defend, use the CMs, there are some moments in the game when you are just forced, uh, forced to do it. What I do here, I use the second man press so my fullback will... Uh, Cut inside, get in front of Saka. And in the same time, while, I, while I'm using the second man press, I am using the player that I have selected to cover the ground in the back. In case he's doing a pass to the striker, I will be there. So in the same time, I'm putting pressure on him with the second man press and covering the space from my uh, center of the defense. A very important thing for me when using the second man press is that I don't like to have the center back as the second man. I like to have the full back in this example shows it again. I do a sandwich, let's call it like that, uh, by using the full back with the second man press and the center back by attacking the striker this way. Uh, by not using the center back as a second man press, I don't risk leaving a huge gap in the middle, in the center of my defense. Now, for the most important change in defending this season, sliding tackles. They are so good and so, so overpowered. Remember at the beginning of the uh, tutorial, I was telling you, don't overcommit. If you overcommit and he goes through, then you are done. Well... That is true, but sometimes you're not really done because look at this sliding tackle to perfection. And the way that the sliding tackles are most OP, more effective uh, this season are from a lateral side. The result is perfection and they're so, so, so accurate. I am surp surprised of how accurate they are. Uh, again, now Griezmann was going on the, on the counter past my center back. The sliding tackle just does the job and he has no chance of continuing. It works also uh, with the CMs anywhere on the pitch. Here, uh, Bentancur with a superb sliding tackle. We almost win possession of the ball. Uh, unfortunately, goes to the to the opponent. So in defense, in the midfield, mostly from uh, a lateral side. But that doesn't mean that they don't uh, work uh, perpendicular uh, to the opponent. They do work, but from what I've tested... From a lateral side, they are just a bit more... I, I don't think it's more overpowered. I just think that comparing with last season, they are better now from a lateral side. Again, here in the penalty box, usually it's risky to, that, to do something like that. But in this particular scenario, I'm 100% sure that the tackle will work. That's exactly what happens, Konate, with a perfect, perfect sliding tackle. Now, something that I've seen so, so good in this particular version of the game in FC24. The way that you can pressure at times with the, with the strikers is just overwhelming. As you are seeing here, uh, I'm just anticipating uh, the pass towards Carvajal. Once I see that, I'm two, three meters away already from Carvajal. I do the standing tackle and it works close to perfection. It is actually perfect. We're all alone with the goalkeeper. We win the ball. Uh, aggressive tackles up the pitch are something that you need you need uh, to work with you need to try like is this example right here again we're pressuring high and again here the ai does 
uh, does the choice between a standing tackle and uh, just pushing the pushing the opponent. This time it will push away the opponent, uh, and we will go all alone from the wing with a pass inside. And eventually, as you're about to see, we're gonna score a simple, simple goal. So, boys, short recap: go with tactical defending at least now at this current uh, stage of the game. Um, Go with formations with two CMs, two CDMs, four, four, two, four, two, three, one, uh, four, triple, two. Those are the safest for defense in the first month. Uh, if you overcommit in this game, you're kind of done, except for the moments when you can catch up with a sliding uh, tackle. Patience is your friend in defending. Use a lot the CM, the CMs, the CDM to cover uh, the gaps in front of your defense. Do not commit too much with the center backs. If you've got any questions, drop a comment below. Let me know. This is only the first defending tutorial that uh, I am doing with the most important things that I've noticed that are changed in the current version of the game. Once we find out more, I will of course, release an updated defending tutorial. Don't forget to drop a like. My name is Ovi and I'll see you fellas in the upcoming videos. Bye-bye.